Ah. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to something which is a bit alien to me for the past month, which is a Tuesday morning in town. Welcome to the catch up of the demolition site. And yes, it is late, as you would have seen, the Saturday upload was the semi final of Warriors who are going to Old Trafford next Saturday you will also get well probably late Saturday or early Sunday you will get my vlog and reaction to that because I will be in Old Trafford up at here Stratford end just as the um, Stratford turns into that quadrant just as it starts to arc so uh, the view that I will get from up there is quite good anyway I will stop waffle and and zoom thy in. Now then, I can't remember off the top of my head how much of this has changed, but it does look like a bit more progress has gone on. Obviously, the clean up over here and everything, but we will go further down there in a moment. I'm just going to unzoom, unzoom, zoom, give you another panorama of what I can see here. And then we will go down further down. Yeah. Anyway, pause for the moment. Well, some things happened around here already. We've got a bit more movement on the, on the demolition. I can see a digger perched on a mound of muck. And I think, going off of what I can see over here, there's probably a little bit more taken off of there because that thing's sat on its little mound of muck <laughs> clearly the clock is well out, it's getting worse and worse every week but hey, this is where the clock is but there's definitely not much of this side left which is uh, quite amazing for the amount of stuff that they've done considering this was only started earlier this year I think anyway I mean, the amount of stuff though that's gone there you can see the amount of muck see if I can give you a little view view from over here as well see if I, just, I can't really get my hand through there but it's the other side of there which Judging from all of this won't be long until uh, like marking spaces and all sorts of other bits go in and it looks like there's a bit of trenching work going on here for the underside of there which uh, I think like this walkway bit over here might disappear hmm. I don't know but there's something for the underside anyway you can see like a bit of digger mark and stuff so maybe something there but hey whatever anyway we'll go to the bottom of this lot and see what it all looks like further down there so pause again pause so we've still got the trenching over here for all the bits and pieces and what up there and all of this is a mess and yeah I can smell the, the demolition and the musk must have dead building and unused space the more of it comes away you can get a little bit of the smell but some of it's like all of the concrete and cement and the, you know and the breeze blocks and everything that have been used in the construction of this place but as you can see there has been a bit more progress and further up there and has been said uh, on Tony's blog when they go to this bit over here the bit above where it starts to drop down into the uh, undercroft that will be an interesting one of how they do that because are they going to put props up and do it or are they going to like carefully peel it away because there is a big void of space under there so it's going to be interesting how they do that but a lot of that that's over there still little bits of the uh, questionable slab up there and you can see a bowser over there with water trails and everything and 
stuff, but I mean, the weather they're going at the moment, I'd say this is probably going to be down you know, December. Most of this will be gone by December, and they'll be heading down towards where the clock is and then stopping before the clock so they don't actually touch it. But that's just my view on it anyway. I don't know how long they're going to be at it, but it'll be uh, quite a while because this is going to be an interesting bit to pull. And this is going to be uh, quite easy, but with the way that the trenching is, where they've obviously separated all of like the consumables and stuff, is going to be another interesting question. Yeah, because you've got the pipes and everything, you can see all the pipes and all of that. I think a lot of this would have been for the uh, electric supply and communications for the lamps, and this is because this is part of where the old, like the four-way crossing goes. Won't be long until all this lot's gone and then the build work will start. And then, as most of you are probably going to get a bit tired of me saying, the old market hall, don't knock it down, turn it into an arena. Because at least we'll then actually have some inside space. It would be nice. But hey, anyway, hard for now. Well, that's a new site, all the hoardings have gone. So at least has something different. There's a little bit of a different view on this side anyway. Well, not all the hoardings, since they're still up that way, but here's a bit of a sharper view of this. And a fresh mound of muck. And a little bit of a different angle to view from. So since I can't exactly find a gap big enough to squadge my arm through. I have got skinny arms, but I'm not that bloody skinny. It's gonna be a bit difficult, but you can actually now see bit more of that but as I've said why not instead of knocking all of that bit down turn that into an arena and you could call it the pit or something you know or find like you know the name of an old coal mine or something and you could give it a little bit of heritage to date back to the old mining days so at least you could actually have something there but you know what these guys are like give them some money and they'll uh, go wild with it but Hey, we've actually got a new vista. This is like hidden behind hoardings, but some of the hoardings are still there, but you know, at least we've got, they could have moved this a bit further back, so we can actually get a bit more pavement, but hey, progress is progress, I suppose, but a lot of that lot up there is uh, not very long for standing. Yeah, this is like quarter to ten, probably what? It's quarter past eleven. So it's now an hour and a half out. Jeez, this is... Uh, at least they're compacting it, so maybe the car park or whatever. Tempe car park will uh, come on for a little while while they do something else. But I don't know for how long, because they're only going to be just across the siding from it, so. It's mad. I still say that, because the footprint in there is big enough for an arena, even if it was only like five or 10,000, you know, capacity, there's still plenty of space in there. But, hey, and the tavern building, as I've probably said a few times, looks to have been turned into kind of like, you know, a pram and baby supply store. If, the, if it's uh, still here, yes, for the looks of that, it is still all here. So that's down here, so we've actually got something in here, at least. So let's have a look at this side. You know, the other bit's now spoiled the view, but spoiled the surprise of how far they've gone. Doesn't really matter. The view is a view, at least we can see something. But anyway, if you're liking the content or you want to contribute, you could always uh, give everything a, uh, a likey like. If you have anything to say, if I've missed something or you, you've spotted something that I've missed, if you want to have a comment, then bung some comments down below in the comments section. If you like it and you do want to help out on the quest to 500, then slam that subscribe. And if you want to 
show people what a mess demolition is. I'm not saying anything to about these guys that are actually pulling it down. It's just the nature of how you de demolish things. And uh, you want to show people that haven't been around here for a while what uh, what's happening with the sites. Then share it around. But there's a digger sat waiting. A mound of muck behind it. Another mound of muck over here. Oh, look at that lot there. And as I say, I think there'll probably be what down to the corner section. Probably by December. I'm saying probably by about the start of December, since we are now into the tenth. It probably won't take them long just to munch all the way through that and fly through it and get to the far side of there. Give you another quick look of what's down there. Then we'll go to the other end and we will wrap. Can't exactly see much else over here. And I'm going blind because of the sun. Anyway, pause. Well, judging from all the noise that's going on behind all of that, I think they're uh, pulling quite a bit of that down because I can see a lot of daylight now. A lot of daylight. They've definitely gotten to the top end of where the, like the opening was for you to go in and through to the ramp. So I think there is only that little bit across there left. If that is what I can see in the shadowy bit. But there isn't much left of that now. So a lot of that is all gone, which I can see down the side here that's all been bifurcated. Over that side that's all been bifurcated. So it's no longer attached to the buildings, from what I can see on the outside anyway. And then there's just this middle section here. It looks like that's all that's standing now. Which that is impressive for how quickly they've gotten down here and onto that that's impressive work to get all of that cut out especially with how clean it's been disconnected from the sides as well so that is uh, very well done to the guys cutting all of this lot out anyway as we wrap up I know some of you aren't interested in rugby or football. You're only really here for these. But I do need to kind of, you know, have at least something else there because uh, otherwise, you know, content goes a bit stale. Uh, so hopefully at least, even if it is only a small percentage of you, does cross over. That's brilliant. You know, it's been, uh, it'll be the first time in what almost, I'm going to say pretty much 20 years that I'll be at Old Trafford on Saturday. Last time I went there wasn't for a game actually, it was for uh, an explorer round when they did when they did the tours before they put the quad the side quadrants up. So uh, that will uh, be interesting to see how that's changed. So if I get there early enough I might go into the uh, <laughs> into their museum, I don't know. I might do, I might not. It's always nice having uh, street artists around because it brings a bit more life to the place. So this is for a Tuesday, it's quite busy. As someone who lived in Chorley and Tuesday was market day in Chorley, that was always rammed. And uh, it's nice to see everything flowing around here and being used and utilized. But as we reach almost a full 360, well, it's never really a full 360 because it don't always end where I started, do I? But as we are, at uh, this side. Don't really think there's much need to give you a, a looky look through here, is there? But I'll do it anyway. I'll just give you a quick, a quick peeky peek, a quick peeky blinder. With this space which is still looking quite clean. Anyway, I will wrap it all up from here. So, that has been another catch up of the demolition site. Next one up will be another episode, well the final episode of the season of Bleeding Cherry and White from Old Trafford. That will be up either late on Saturday or on the Sunday depending on how quick I can get home. 
Anyway, I will see you later. Don't stress too much. Life is only what you put into it. I will see you star side. Have fun in the stars. Peace and goodbye.